Hello again, friends, and welcome back to Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. We're once again joining our dear friend Jimmy Gerhardt in the world just after tomorrow, a world where the dead have risen from their graves and the living are in short supply. Last time, we fought and killed several of the undead, including one particularly interesting zombie that seemed to have been had the power to transform other zombies into more dangerous sorts of the walking dead. That was... certainly something... But let's hope we don't find any more of those anytime soon. Jimmy, as you can see, is already hurting as it is. We're back in our cave, and I've done just a little shuffling of inventory to free up some space and organize things a little bit. As you can see here, we have a, <coughs> a little bit less, a few, a little bit fewer things in my inventory. If you notice at the top center of the screen, I have a volume that is 24 of 70. That is how much physical space I can carry, and the weight is 24.4 out of 116.8. That is, well, how much weight I can carry. Hotkeys is kind of irrelevant, but it basically determines how many items I'm carrying like, of different specific types that have specific letters associated with them. Now, I'm going to go outside. I had a thought that... Oh, I'm starting to get thirsty. You may see that. I'm not going to do anything about that just yet, because I had a thought. If I can gather enough rocks, I believe that I can build a small fireplace inside the building. And if I can do that, an apple, if I eat the apple, it might help a little bit. If I can do that, then I can start cooking things in a safe way. And if I can cook things, well, then maybe I won't starve. I suppose we're going to find out. Now I'm gathering as many rocks from the surrounding area as I can. And oop, more sticks. I'm going to need more sticks because obviously I need something to burn. Blackberries, good, I'll eat those too. I'm full now, so I won't be able to eat anything else for a little while, but that's okay. Oop, something over here is making sound. Is it something dangerous, or is it... Oh, it's a deer. Nothing to worry about. Check my volume. I'm good on volume, so I'm going to pick up these sticks over here. You'll notice that the one disadvantage of being out in the woods is that it's very, very easy to realize you can't see anything. <clears throat> now, supposedly there's one firefighter zombie off to my left over here, and it's over there, yes, okay. Well then, I guess if he triggers on us, we're going to have to fight him, but I want these rocks. In fact, you might say I need these rocks, so let's just hope that that zombie doesn't see us. He doesn't seem to have seen us, or else he would have come around the corner by now. You can carry two more rocks there. Now, I'm slowed down by trying to carry so many rocks, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to drop off the rocks. Now then, I'm going to use my advanced inventory management for this. This basically allows me to shuffle things around a little bit more easily. Uh, there's my rocks now. Drop all 17 rocks and all 6 heavy sticks, and that frees up all of my space. Now, let me see here. What do I need to build a stone fireplace? I already have a shovel. I need 40 rocks. This may take a while, so I'm going to cut the video here, and I will get back to you as soon as I find some rocks. Welcome back. In my quest to find more rocks, I have, in fact, ventured back towards this thing, where we fought the zombie master. Now, what I've noticed about this is that it seems to be a bunch of wreckage of some kind. And when I got closer to it, I noticed that there were interesting items. This looks like it was some sort of a military vehicle that was destroyed. Probably a helicopter. I don't know why there's a child zombie near it, but we are going to be approaching this and gathering whatever we can from the wreckage. So I brought you guys back so that you can see what we find. Now, you'll notice that I have a message on the right every time I kill a zombie child. It says, I feel guilty for killing a zombie child. Well, this is my morale. I have a slight penalty to morale at the moment because I'm hot, it's because I'm overheated, because I'm wearing clothes that are too warm for the environment, but it's only a little bit, so I'm not worried about it. I have a 
bonus of zero for enjoying an apple. That was higher a moment ago when I ate the apple. The minus four guilty about killing, however, that is a number that can be very unpleasant. If you fight a lot of zombie children and you kill a lot of them in a short period of time, it can seriously damage your morale. If your morale gets low, it makes it harder for you to learn things. This is obviously not good. Um, cash card of one, I think that's fine. Uh, let's see. So, this is wreckage. MBR vest, a chest rig. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm taking it with me. Tactical gloves, a helmet liner. Oh, it looks like we're being approached by a zombie dog. An antenna, don't need that. Don't. Well, camo tank top, that's cool. Let's grab that. Oh, that's a camo tank top that fits us, so let's drop the other one. We don't need things that don't fit. Hard plating. We don't have a vehicle, so that's not much use to us. Military composite plating. Same deal. Um, chunk of steel. Don't need that. A power converter. No. Again, I would be grabbing much different... Ooh, army pants. Let's go ahead and see what we can drop here. Um, how about I just eat another apple? That should do us fine. Now, we're going to let this zombie dog come across the metal wreckage to get to us and hope that he gets cut on the way. Or that at the very least it slows him down. Oh, that's a zombie child. Oh, goody. Okay, zombie child is dead. Taking the cash card and I'm getting the heck out of here. <sighs> I'm going to be coming back because we're going to need to gather the rest of that stuff. All of it. Every last bit of it because I'm a hoarder. And to see if we can't gather the rest of those rocks. Because, as I mentioned before, we need a total of 40 rocks, and those, well, once we have that, we can make all sorts of things with this food we have here. Um, this frozen dinner and this pizza are going to go bad eventually. The lasagna probably won't because, well, it's the sort of lasagna that isn't cooked yet. It's still just hard lasagna. Um, so it should be good for a while. I'm going to drop that, in fact, because we don't need to carry it with us. I'm going to keep the Halligan bar just in case we need to break into something, because you never know. You never know when you need to break down a door. Now we are headed back for that wreckage where we will gather all of the things. Or at least the ones that seem important. I really don't like those smoker zombies. If you don't have the uh, right equipment, then breathing smoke can cause you all sorts of problems. So, let's see here. Don't need that camo tank top. That was the one that was not fitting us. That's the military composite plating. Uh, hard plating. Jumpsuit. Antenna. Oop, that hurt us a little bit. Hard plating. A rocket. Ooh, we're going to gather those just because. A military rucksack. That's useful. A flare gun. Oh, that looks like a dog is coming after us. We're going to smash that skeleton dog if we can. Ooh, he bit us. He bit us bad. He's hurting us. And we are not hitting him. I need to check on something. Are we badly encumbered? Well, it's not helping. Okay, I'm going to drop our blazer for now. I will pick it back up, but we're going to need to be able to hit this guy and to dodge his attacks. So, okay, we killed him. Now I'm grabbing and wearing the blazer again. I'm trying to grab all of the things without getting hurt. Ooh, a plutonium cell, an M14. That's a rifle. Don't need the dog corpse. Don't need the power converter. Do want the batteries. Don't need the plating. I want another military rucks. Oh, I'm going to wear the other one for now. I really shouldn't because it will slow me down, but I want it right now, so. We have something over there. I'm hoping that that zombie has not actually triggered on us. Oh, no, nope, he. Nope, it looks like he's. 
just sort of wandering in our general direction. I'm hoping he doesn't actually come for us, because I'd like to gather the rest of these rocks and get the hell out. That there looks like some other... Oh, it looks like there's another wreckage. Really? That's interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to drop some things. The M14. The... Let's see. Fire extinguisher, the rockets, and the rucksack. And then... I'm going to kill this zombie here. There. Oh, don't need any of the things he has on him. Okay. Can I wear the rucksack? Yes. Okay. Strawberries. We're going to eat the strawberries. Oh, we're going to eat the blackberries we already had. We're going to continue gathering rocks. How many rocks do I have on me? Five? Okay. I only need a few more. I believe I'm going to need about six more from what I have on me. Of course, getting those might get me killed. But if if it happens, it happens. C'est la vie. I'm going to try and gather this rock without getting seen. Okay. Let's see. There's that smoker again. See if we can just travel north up here. Maybe grab there's some rocks up this way. Bunch of cats. That's interesting. That's a lot of cats. Why are there so many cats? Oh, oh, I... Oh, crap. That's very bad. Um, I've triggered a zombie hulk. That is a particularly unpleasant form of zombie that, uh... Well, let's just say that it's probably going to kill me. Um, and if it does, well, you'll be here to get to see it. Okay, right now we're going to be fighting a zombie hulk. This is essentially a tank, and I am fighting it with a combat knife. So, um, let's see how quickly this thing murders my face off. Well, I damaged it before it damaged me. Ooh, it punched off my t-shirt. Ouch. Uh, it hit me in the torso again. It hit me in the torso twice. It's hitting me a lot, and I am definitely not going to survive this. Nope. And that is the end of Jimmy Gerhardt. <laughs> that was over much more quickly than I would have liked, but it happens. As you noticed, it saved the game immediately. As soon as you die, it saves the game and then overwrites all previous saves, so that way you cannot come back to this character ever again. There's no going back to an, to an old save. Um, this is the turn log. This is the last several turns. This is all the things that happened to me. <clears throat> and then this is my kill count. You'll notice that I got several kills before I went down, but that I did, in fact, go down hard. Well, if I have any last words, how about how did you punch my shirt off? And Jimmy is now gone. Thank you all for watching Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I will be back with another character in the future. In the meantime, well, Jimmy's world may have ended, but don't let yours come to an end.